In our previous video, we have created multiple APIs in a ASP.NET Core Web API application. Now we will learn how to consume those APIs in Angular application. For consuming application, you can use any technology. It means um, you can use React, Angular, PHP, JavaScript and jQuery. You can use any one of the application to consume all APIs. Here we will use Angular application. For that, first we have to install Angular CLI in our machine. Let's create new Angular application. I'm going to create the new application inside this folder. Let's open command prompt here. You can see the version of Angular by using this command ng version. See here, Angular CLI version is 14.2.1. Node version is 17.3.0 and NPM version is 8.3.0. To create a new Angular application, we have to use this command ng new and then application name bookstore. Then press enter. Here we have one question. Would you like to add Angular routing? Um, type Y and then press enter. Then which style sheet format would you like to use here in this application? I want to work with SCSS. So select that and then press enter. Now this command installing all the packages. It will take some time. Um, all the packages installed successfully. Now navigate to project folder. Uh, for that we can use this command cd dot slash and then bookstore this is the name of the application see here now we are in the project folder location now in this folder see here we have one new folder bookstore inside this folder we have more files to work with angular application now uh, to open this application in visual studio code editor you can use this command here um, code space then press dot then press enter it will open our application in visual studio code editor okay then second method is you can uh, right click here then choose open with code here we are in the angular application this is how uh, Visual Studio Code Editor looks like. To run this application, you can use new terminal window. So go to tools menu, then choose new terminal. Here, to run this application, we have to uh, use this command ng serve, then ipen o. Here, ipen o is used to open the browser, then press enter. It will take few seconds to run our application. See here, we have one message compiled successfully. Now, see here, this is the output of this Angular application. To design this application, we will use Bootstrap. Um, for that, we have to open one more terminal. Here, choose PowerShell. Here we have to install the bootstrap by using this command npm install bootstrap then press enter. It will install bootstrap package in our application. Bootstrap has been installed. Now expand this node modules folder. Here scroll down search for bootstrap. Here we have bootstrap folder. See here inside this we have more folder. Now uh, we can use this uh, bootstrap in our application. Let's open angular.json file. Here scroll down. Um, you can see here we are adding all the styles of this application. Here in this array, 
we can enter multiple values so put a comma and add the path of the bootstrap now save the changes we have to consume web api in this application so we have to make some more changes in this application then we can handle http request now expand this src folder your expand app folder here let's open this app.module.ts file here let's add one import statement import http client module from angular then common then http now um, inside this imports let's add this um, http client module save the changes to deal with web api we need to create service so here type the command ng g for generate s for service and then service name let's say book then press enter this command will create new service in this application see here uh, inside this app folder we have two more files book.service.spec.ts file and then we have uh, book.service.ts file uh, this first file is used only for testing purpose we have to focus on this book.service.ts file only so in this file uh, we will make some changes uh, we can use http client here before that let's create uh, one variable private um, base path here um, we will uh, write path of the web api application in this constructor we will use private http http client so far in this video we have created angular application then we installed bootstrap we have created service to deal with web api um, thanks for watching this video.